multiply the following and simplify the result. 7 times the fifth root, uh, 7 times the square root of 5a times 4 times the square root of 3. Now since this is all multiplications, we are allowed to rearrange and regroup it however we want. Those are what are, what are called the associative and commutative properties of multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite this as 7 times 4 times the square root of 5a times the square root of 3. And so that's 28 times the square root of 5a times 3, 28 times the square root of 15a. The square root of 15a does not contain any perfect square factors, so it is simplified. Using a similar idea here, I would have, since we have 4x squared y times the square root of 10xy by 15x times the square root of 18x cubed y to the seventh, I would rewrite, I can rewrite this as 4x squared y times 15x times the square root of, go ahead and multiply those, 10xy times 18x cubed y to the seventh. So we'd have 4 times 15, that's 60x cubed y, and on the inside I'd have 180x to the 4th, y to the 8th. All right, now, 180 is 36 times 5. So, I could rewrite this as 60x cubed y, and then I'll keep the square root of 36 and y to the 8th. Uh, I forgot the x to the 4th, sorry about that. 36x to the 4th, y to the 8th, and keep that separate from that square root of 5. So I would have 60x to the 3rd, y, times 6x squared, y to the 4th, times the square root of 5, and simpling further, I have 60 times 6, that's 360. I would have x to the 5th and y to the 5th, and then a square root of 5. All right, this one's a little bit more complicated, but the same basic idea. So we have cube roots rather than square roots. So I would have 5a to the 4th, b to the 5th, times 11a, b to the 2nd, times the cube root, and multiply those radicands, 12a to the 2nd, b to the 7th, by 6a to the 2nd, b to the 5th. So that would give me 55a to the 5th, b to the 7th, times the cube root, of 72 a to the fourth b to the twelfth. I have a cube root, so I'm looking for perfect cube factors. Uh, 72 is 8 times 9, a to the fourth is 8 to the third times a, and b to the twelfth is a perfect cube. So just working with that, I'd have a cube root of 8 a cube by a cube root of 9a. So 55a to the 5th, and I forgot the b to the 12th there, sorry about that, b to the 7th times 2ab to the 4th times the cube root of 99a, and continuing to simplify, 110a to the 6th, b to the 11th by the cube root of 9a.